Charles Oliveira has been rather silent when it comes to hyping up his upcoming fight against Islam Mahachev, but he's had a few words to say recently. Let's check it out. Of course, the potential to fight against Khabib in the future got brought up, but even Charles has given a humble and respectful response when it comes to the legendary superstar. Charles stated, Islam, he's a protege of Khabib and he carries that weight on his shoulders. I didn't choose fights. I just got on with him and this is what we're gonna do. It's a different story. Well, the fight is against Islam. Whenever Khabib is willing to come back and get on with it, I'll always be ready. Honestly, I don't think he's gonna be fighting again. He said he's retired. He's done. And I fully respect that decision. When asked about what he plans to do in the upcoming fight with Islam, he was very honest about his expectations. Charles stated, Opinions are subjective, and some people believe that I'd be a potential winner, he'd be a potential winner, but I'm gonna show that my history, my background, the number of fights I've had, my contenders, these will come to show on that very night. In this sense, I'll shock the world because people will change their opinion about this. Islam has a much more detailed expectation and plan for the upcoming fight. Islam stated, His last three or four opponents, they knock him down and nobody goes to grappling. Nobody tried to finish him there. Nobody tried to do some ground and pound. That's why nobody from these opponents could stop him. But I'm not scared of his jiu-jitsu skills because I have good skills in sambo and grappling. And we'll give him a hard time in striking. That's why I'm going to knock him down and try to finish him. Because this guy has most finishes in the UFC, my goal is I have to finish him. I'm going to take his record. Charles is very dangerous. He always finishes his opponent, and he's dangerous in the striking and on the ground, but I believe in my skills. I'm ready for the fight, standing up or on the ground. It doesn't matter. I don't think this is the biggest test of my career. Maybe I've beat some guy who has more skills, but right now, he's the champion. And right now, at this moment in his career, because he has a good win streak, he had many losses before and he finished all his opponents, he feels like nobody can stop him. But October 22nd, I'm gonna come to the cage and stop him there. Everyone seems to think that the fight will spend a considerable amount of time on the ground, and Chael Sonnen believes that Charles should should rethink his strategy if he plans to go for a submission. I am truly interested in Oliveira's strategy when he gets down. And I would know that if I was in the room with him right now. If he is practicing being on bottom and he's trying to find a Kimura or a triangle, he's not going to win this fight. If Charles Oliveira on bottom is planning to get to an underhook, opposite hip, stand up. If he's planning to slip out the back, arm drag, hit a reversal, we're having a totally different conversation. I know Charles himself said, I'll start this fight on my back. That would be a really bad idea. It would be a terrible idea to ever concede that position because every second that you're there, you're losing. And there's not a judge licensed under the ABC banner that will tell you different. All things are equal and you're on the ground. The guy on top is winning. I'm not counting Charles out anymore. I'm not. His wins and, and how impressive he did it and the guys that he did it against, Dealing with the stresses of his financial burden being changed, of the fact that he can't get of the night bonuses, of the fact that they took his belt away and 24 hours later walking out there and having the single best performance of his life, I'm with Anthony. I'm not counting Charles out. If Charles' plan is to submit Islam when he's down, we got a problem. We got 25 good minutes of action. He's rolling this way, he's rolling that way, and all the legs come, oh, and there was an elbow that slipped up. Uh, okay. If Charles, when he's taken down, plans to stay down, we don't need to see this fight. We, we, it's already done. If Charles, when taken down, plans to get back up, okay, you have my attention. If you could assure me that Charles, when he's down, can get back up or reverse him, whoa, you might have just changed the fight. Well, one might usually be spending all this time preparing for the fight, Charles decided to take a little bit of time to enjoy the scenery in between training. He posted, Lion walks with lions. Who doesn't like it? Respect my story. Oddly enough, Islam is the one that's getting the advice and warnings from fellow fighters. Henry Cejudo even stated, If there's anybody that could beat Charles Oliveira, his name is Islam Mahachev, because he has that one solid style. Same reason why I beat Demetrius Johnson. My wrestling overwhelmed whatever it is he was bringing to the table. And wrestling can be your safety net. One solid base like wrestling could probably neutralize anything that martial arts can bring to the table. Someone who loves to put his two cents in is none other than commentator Joe Rogan. Charles Oliveira. When Charles Oliveira fights, even though he's the champion, he fights like, like a berserker. He fights, he puts himself in danger. Like, he doesn't fight safe. He doesn't fight to try to outpoint you. He doesn't fight tactically, like where he's trying to get 
you know, the, the least amount of damage and, you know, and, and drag you into deep water and then and then strategically try to take you out yeah. the fourth and fifth round. No. From the moment the first bell rings, he's coming at you. Engaging. Guns yeah. blazing. Yeah. That dude's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Islam, he's, he's for real. That, that grappling is serious. Because that kid, Drew Dober, is very good. Mm -hmm. For him to handle Drew Dober that way, I was yeah. super impressed. Yeah. It's an amazing So many questions. And, you know, Oliveira has never fought a grappler like Islam. No. But Islam's never fought a guy who can submit people like Oliveira. Yeah. Yeah. Oliveira missions... fucks everybody up. Oddly enough, Chael Sonnen already has the next contender in mind, and he wants the winner of UFC 280 to call Alexander Volkanovsky out. Chael stated, There's another side to this, which is straight up PR. You cannot get called out by a littler guy and tell him no. You have a hard time calling out a littler guy. But when he does it, when he comes to you, when he comes and tells the world, I want a piece of this guy, you must answer for that. And when a guy who holds a higher ranking than you, but comes in 5 kilograms less, calls you out, you must answer for that. According to Alexander, he's actually lined up as a potential backup fighter. Alex stated, We're locked in as a backup fighter. I've been calling it. I said I wanted it, just had to make sure the hand was all good. So we're all good. We're locked in, and we got the clearance to fight. The UFC is on board, everyone is on board. So I'll be at UFC 280 to make weight. And yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. If someone doesn't make it, I'm there to save the day. If not, at least I'm locked in as the next guy to fight for that lightweight title. And that's that. Over a month ago, Alexander made his own prediction for the fight, and he was already claiming that he would be ready to be the backup fighter. Now, when I look at that fight, stylistically, as a, as a person that thinks, like, how do I think it's going to go? I think Islam um, will get the job done. You know what I mean? Then you talk about who would you rather fight and things like that. Look, I, I'm, I'm the type of guy that I'll fight anyone. I just want to fight for that belt. I want to, you know, I want to go for that title. Um, what's more likely for me, I'll be honest, you know, with someone like Charles, I think he defends pretty quickly. Along the lines, you know, I want to get back in. I'm actually thinking, believe it or not, I'm thinking of because I'm still training, of being, if they need a backup fighter, oh, wow. I'm going to wow. be the guy. I'm going to be the guy that's going to be there. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm so already you'll talking be in Abu Dhabi. saying, hey. You're going to be in Abu Dhabi. I, I, I'm, I'm telling them I want to be there, I'll be the backup. I'm going to be fit enough, I'm going to get enough of the camp to stay in good enough fitness, and I'll do it. Once again, though, Joe Rogan is Charles' biggest supporter in the matter. 55, 45, 35, you can't be champ. You have to you be have able to, to wrestle. wrestle. You, you have, have to. to. Or you have to be like Oliveira. Like, good luck. Take me down. I'll f drink, drink off my back. <laughs> that, that's why, dude, everyone's counting him out against Makachev. I, mean, I don't know, you Baba. You can't count down there, he loves it down there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Oliveira, something happened to him. And if you, that, that's a great example of judging a guy by his losses. Because if you look at his losses to Cub Swanson, if you look at his losses to Paul Felder, quit. you're like, there's no way this guy's going to be the best in the world. Get some quit in. Something happened. And he, I think they say that it's his, the birth of his daughter. Really? That when his kid was born, he just changed everything. And he became that, like just this ferocious savage. assassin in there, man. Charles doesn't seem bothered by his upcoming fight at all. But one has to wonder if he's going to take Islam serious as an opponent. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more crazy fight news and updates.